Salut, Pascal Moscato here. Welcome back into another video tutorial. In today's video, we are going to start by a quick reminder of how to create a damping. And we're going to look at a glitch that might have appeared in your scene using the damping 3D node with rotation. And we are also going to be looking at a way to create uh, an option to activate or deactivate uh, the live damping so that when you're manipulating your object, the damping will not be applied. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. In case you haven't seen this video right here, um, I'm going to show you quickly how to do a damping with uh, rotation. To do so, you need a relation constraint. And inside the relation constraint, you're going to you're going to put your um, cube, your object, as a sender and as a receiver. And then you only have to add a damper that is under the other tab, and it's called Damping 3D. And simply connect your rotation in the vector slot and the result into the rotation. And in this case, I already have a damping factor custom properties uh, that I'll connect right away. And here's the result. But have you come across this type of problem using damping? If I'm deactivating the damping, it's it's regular rotation. There is nothing really going on here that would justify uh, a damping like this, a glitch like this. But it happens, and let me show you exactly what's going on here. If I'm using global rotation, you can see, looking right here at the Z rotation, that the cube is going from positive 180 to minus 180. And that's f that for a damper, a linear damper at least, it's very bad. It, it means that it travels a lot of numbers before reaching, and that justify the fact that it's spinning like this. There's another one going on right here, and the reason is because, same again, it's going from, at, in this case, it's going from 0 to 180, so it's smaller, but it's still, uh, it happens, and it's, and it's going to be even worse if you start rotating the object with uh, global rotation like this, okay? To fix that, there's a very simple way. Uh, in your relation constraint, you want to modify those two nodes and change them to local transformation. So now, instead of going from minus 180 to positive 180, it's it gonna follow the regular animation as, um, as you see in the F-curve. There's no minus 180 going, no, there's no glitch in this F-curve. So that, that's uh, the first way to fix the problem. If you still have the problem by selecting a local transformation, have a look, maybe you have quaternion rotation activated. And if you have it, it's gonna be the same problem, just at different places. If you can afford it, deactivate it. If you cannot, I'm sorry, you won't be able to use the damping, uh, this damping node at least, but you can probably find other ways with uh, uh, using a parent as a aim constraint, for example, and apply damping position instead. So that's how to fix the problem. The other thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that even though you've changed to local transformation, you might see while manipulating the cube like this, glitches appear. And that will happen no matter what you do. It's because we're using global transform or even local transform might do that um, type of, uh, of glitch. Just know that when you will key your rotation when, and you hit play, it will be just fine. As long as uh, in your F curve, the, the curve are, are, are looking good uh, like this, that there is no glitch in your F curve, you'll be fine. But if you want the, um, if you want the live transform to work, to work fine, simply go into additive this way you will not find any glitch uh, you you won't find any visual glitch all right and finally the last thing i wanted to talk about is um, 
maybe you you are not comfortable using a live damper like this um, you would like the, the damping to be removed while you're manip manipulating the object and it's very simple to do let's do that let's start by putting a new node in our relation constraint it's under system and it's called play mode play mode is a node that will give zero and one so it gives zero when nothing happened like this in and it will give a result of one when you hit play or when you plot animation so what we want to do is simply then go into vector and go get a if condition and this will be our condition so if we if play mode equals one we want the result of the damping to be the result of the condition and if nothing we want the original rotation to be the result so let's see the result of this now there is no damping but if i hit play the damping still on and before finishing this video let's add a boolean to control the live damping uh, i already have created the boolean if you don't know how to do that uh, go see this video on how to create custom properties and let's add our boolean to the equation i'm gonna go into number and get a if condition i'm gonna take my boolean as the condition so if life if life damping is true i want the value to be one if life damping is false i want play mode to be the result and this this result i want to connect it to my if condition for the vector rotation and let's test this so no damping damping is activated if i hit play damping is working if i remove this damping is still working perfect so that's it for today's video i hope you've learned something uh, if so please leave a thumbs up it helped me to reach more people reach more audience also consider sharing with a friend who might need it and as always, I'll see you in the next one. À la prochaine.